Today is my 19th birthday, so as most 19 year olds do on their birthday, they go on YouTube and they post a video about the 19 life lessons they've learned from being on this planet for 19 years. I've learned a lot of lessons and I've tried to funnel them down to 19 important ones which I think you guys can benefit from. I was originally going to plan on doing it as if I was one years old, what I learned when I was one, then what I learned when I was two, and there was two problems with that. Firstly, I thought about what actually would I be learning when I was one years old. Maybe I can think of something when I was four years old. Don't eat yellow snow. Definitely don't eat brown snow. But ultimately, I thought sharing my experiences about eating yellow and definitely brown snow, that probably won't benefit you as much as some of the lessons that I actually talk about in this video. And other than the value of the actual lessons that I would be learning at that young age, the second issue is that the audience that this is going to probably aren't going to be one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old children. So what was valuable to me then probably isn't valuable to you guys watching this video. So rather than sharing my experiences about some lesser valuable lessons like don't eat yellow snow, don't eat brown snow, maybe something like if you ask a girl are they okay, they're never okay, let's talk about some actual valuable shit that you are going to benefit from. So lesson number one. Be kind. Being kind is simple and it gets you everywhere. You're more respected, people think more highly of you. Just be kind. Honestly, kindness is contagious. If you're kind to someone, they're going to feel good. They're going to go be kind to someone else. And no matter your appearance or who you really are, if you are kind to someone, then it will spread and it's a fantastic thing and it will get you everywhere. So just be kind. Second lesson, be grateful. Loss comes at you very quickly in life. And when we are at our happiest moments, we usually don't even realise them. So when you are having a good moment or you think you're having a good moment, be so grateful for it. Tell your parents you love them. Tell your partner you love them. Go out with your friends. Go catch up for a coffee. Do it before it's too late. You have to be grateful for these things. And we usually are only grateful once we've lost them because we fail to recognise that we should be grateful for them while we have them. So think to yourself now, reflect on it and think, right, can I be grateful about my experience, who I'm with, whatever? And if you think there's even a chance you should be grateful, then be grateful. Do the things that show that you're grateful for it because when you lose it, you're going to regret not being grateful. Number three, and this is a massive one. Just try. One of the worst thoughts I have in my head, and what you can have in your head, is but what if? You do not want to be thinking what if. I'm 19 years old and there's so many things I think what if? And that is so annoying and it frustrates me and my goal for the future is to have so many less of what if. Because if I'd just done it, if I'd grew up, if I got the balls to actually do some of the things that I wish I could have been doing, then these what if thoughts that spiral in my head sometimes, they wouldn't be there. If you're thinking about starting that YouTube channel, going to the gym for the first time, asking that girl out, asking that boy out, whatever, just do it. Just try. At least you've tried. Some people will live their lives and they will never try. 90% of you will never try. Just try. It's so worth it and it will avoid them what if thoughts in your head because you don't want them and they will spiral and they will nag at you and they'll be like, but what if you asked that girl that? Or what if I'd gone to the gym that one time? Would I be going now? Avoid the what ifs. You don't want to be living with what ifs. So just try. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is, start today. Just try. Number four, hope is dangerous. The more optimistic we get about something, the more we hope it's going to happen and it doesn't happen, it can hurt. And the more you are going to crumble when it doesn't happen. And that is a sad thing and I'm sorry, but I'm not saying you shouldn't have hope. You should definitely hope for some things, but if you're hoping for something, you need to actively be working towards achieving it. If you just hope you're going to become a millionaire, you hope you're going to have a six pack, it's never going to happen. And when it doesn't happen, the more you're going to crumble when it doesn't happen. So don't rely on hope. Rely on discipline. 
rely on actually doing the things that will allow you to get to where you are hoping to be. Number five, less is more with friends. I'm sure you can have so many great experiences with loads of different friends, but what I've found is that the less friends I have, the more meaningful connections I can build with those friends and ultimately have fantastic times with their friends and do more meaningful things with them and have greater experiences with them because I've got a small group of people that I genuinely love all of them. And it's so great because we have such deep connections. We can open up, we can share our experiences. And the best thing is, is that we have similar ambitions. You want to surround yourself with people that are on the same path as you in a way, not identical to you, but have same goals, similar ambitions, want to be in similar place to you, you know? People you can relate to. Number six, love is everything. On your lowest days, who is going to be there for you? When you just feel like shit, or when you're sitting in the hospital and you just need someone to be there with you, who's going to be there with you? It's the people that love you. Don't be afraid to fall in love. It's a beautiful emotion. When you develop that meaningful connection, it offers you so much. Love is arguably the most powerful emotion that you can experience. Irrational actions can become a normality when you are in love. You do things you wouldn't normally do. When the person you love feels like shit, you feel like shit and you can't control it. Love is extremely powerful, but love is beautiful. The people you need and that will be there for you when time gets tough are going to be your loved ones. So treasure them. Okay, number seven. Someone is always having a worse day than you. There are going to be days where you feel like absolute shit and that is okay. Express it, get it out, it's fine. But someone out there would have broken both their arms. Their legs might have chopped off. Their whole family might have died in a car crash. Someone is having a day 10 times worse than you, and that person that is having a day 10 times worse than you, there is someone else having a day 10 times worse than them. Someone is always having a worse day than you. And the meaning behind this is basically value everything. Again, be grateful for everything. You might be thinking to yourself, what time is dinner tonight? Whereas someone else is thinking, is there going to be dinner tonight? You're thinking, what time am I going to wake up tomorrow? Someone else is thinking, Am I going to wake up tomorrow? Number eight, you have to be selfish to be selfless. You have to focus on you to provide benefits to others. This can be with absolutely anything. You have to be a bit selfish. If you had a failed previous relationship, you have to focus on you. You have to be selfish. You have to spend some time to yourself. You have to reflect and think, okay, why did that fail? Then you come back, you spent that time, you've been selfish, you spent some time on you, you might have closed off some friends you might have turned down some opportunities but you will come back and you will have a better relationship because you focused on you if you want to retire your parents when you're older if you want to spend money on your friends and treat them to holidays and you're going to have to be selfish you're going to have to turn them down you have to say guys i'm sorry i'm not coming out today you're going to have to put your head down you're going to have to work so you can earn enough money to treat them to the holidays later in five ten years time once you've earned enough money to do it so think about it. Grow for yourself first. Spend some time on you and then you can start to benefit other people. Number nine, the best things in life take a long time to get and a lot of hard work to achieve. You might not even realise it. Think about the job you have now or the relationship you have now, the body you have now. Was that quick? No. It took you a long time to get there, and that's the beauty of it. The thing about achieving and success is that compounding is required to actually achieve something great. For example, with your body, it's not going to be one workout until you have that six-pack. It'll probably be a hundred workouts, and that's going to take a long time, a year, two years, to achieve. But the thing about defeat and failure is that it happens like that. It just happens. It doesn't compound over time. You don't fail one day and you fail again, you fail again, you fail again, and then it happens. Failure can happen so quickly. Really think about what you want to achieve. It's going to take a long time to get there. Okay, number 10, give and never expect anything back. It sort of brings me on to pessimism. 
in the fact that if you never expect anything, then you kind of won't feel disappointed when you don't get it back. You should be focusing on the fact that you are giving to people. Giving, personally for me, brings me a hell of a lot of joy, and it should bring you a lot of joy too. It's a great thing, think about the happiness you see on people's faces when you give them that present for their birthday, or not even physical things, you give them a great experience because of your company. And it goes back to being selfish, to be selfless. You have to work on yourself, you have to build the character, build that great personality, as well as that respectable figure, to be a great person to be around. Just focus on you, focus on giving and becoming a fantastic version of yourself so you can offer people great experiences, a great time and great things. Number 11. I've already made a video on this one, but I want to touch on it again. Being above average does not make you special. The fact that you step in a gym makes you above average. But what do you see in the gym half the time? A lot of people with awful form, overweight, they're not above average physically. And they don't have to be, obviously, because most people are average. But it depends on what you want to be. If you really want to be above, above average, then you have to firstly go into the gym, you have to do the research before to use correct form, you have to be dieting correctly, you have to work out consistently. There's a lot that goes into being exceptional, being really good, above, above average. Just because you're in the gym, it doesn't make you special. You're above average, but are you actually doing the right things? Are you dieting properly? Are you consistently going? Number 12, and probably my favourite on this list, failure is amazing. There is so much stuff you are taught in education that is just utter bollocks. But if they actually taught you and they actually taught you the applications of learn from your mistakes, the ability to reflect, the ability to fail and get back up from it and reflect on it, that is the most vital lesson you can learn in life. And it's probably, if not, the most important lesson I have learned in my life. So when you fail, it teaches you so much. It teaches you what you did wrong. You need to reflect on it and don't make the same mistake twice. Like James Clear says in Atomic Habits, if you have a consistent habit, you've been doing well over and over again, you fail, it's okay. Just don't fail twice on the bounce. That shows it's becoming a bad habit. So when you fail, learn from it, reflect, and then try and avoid it as much as possible in the future. Number 13, change sucks, but we need to embrace it. Some people will love change. For me, I don't like change, but I'm learning to embrace it. I'm actively trying to get on with change. Change happens in life all the time, especially when you're young, you're going to be changing a lot. Physically, environmentally, you're going to different schools, colleges, you might be moving house all the time. Who knows what's going on in your life? But you have to embrace change. If you become too rigid, it becomes part of your identity. And as I've already said, you need to be versatile with your identity in a previous video. Because the more something becomes you and it becomes part of your identity, the harder it's going to be when you lose it. So be ready for change. And the only way you can be ready for change is actively having areas of your life that you are changing all the time. So it might be literally going on some adventures with your friends, going to different places, having sleepovers when you're young. You know, don't become too accustomed to your own bed. You know, meet new people, do new things, be constantly changing. Don't get too comfortable. Never be comfortable, okay? Number 14. Protect your body at all costs. I've drunk, I've smoked, I'm not perfect. And I'm sure you're not perfect either because none of us are perfect. But respect your body. Exercise, try and eat as healthily as possible. Have treats, you can have sugary stuff, fatty stuff. Yeah, definitely. But respect your body. Compounding is extremely powerful for success. But what I didn't mention earlier is that it can actually be dangerous in the sense that, for example, if you eat a biscuit today, then it probably isn't going to have that much of an impact on your body. If you eat five biscuits today, then it's not going to have too much of a bad impact on your body. But then if you eat five biscuits today and tomorrow, and the day after that, and after that, compounding is extremely powerful, and your arteries are not going to like that. You can do nothing without your body. 
The classic question is, if I offered you a billion pounds today, but you would die tomorrow, would you take it? And you would hopefully say no, because your body is vitally important to you. So exercise, try to eat well, try to stay away from shitty alcohol, shitty cigarettes, all this bullshit crap you don't need, and protect your body, because it is your temple. Respect it. Number 15 is actions have consequences. We learn by doing. So hopefully you are doing loads and loads of things. You should be doing a lot when you're young. You should be active. Once you actually do something, do you actually reflect on it and think about the consequences of your actions? I've been told this since such a young age that your actions have consequences and I have learned so much from it because they clearly do. Your actions impact not just you, but other people. You need to realize that everything you do is having an impact. Is it having a positive impact or is it having a negative impact? That's what you have to evaluate. The more stuff you're doing that has a positive impact on you or other people, keep on doing it. It's great. The negative shit you need to cut out. For example, partying every night. Are you going out partying every night? You're waking up with a hangover every day and you still do it? Yeah, you can go out partying, you can have a drink, you can have fun, but why are you doing it every night? Reflect. That is having a negative consequence on your body, going back to the previous point, and you are just doing something that is having negative consequences. So try and cut out a lot of it. Okay? Number 16. For me, as a 19-year-old, the meaning of life is to find your meaning. Your experiences, who you surround yourself with, they will shape you and they will shape what is important to you. You might find that your meaning is building a fantastic body and earning a lot of money or caring so much about the people you love. And it's finding a balance between that, obviously, but one thing will be more important to you than other things. Everything you do will go towards this one thing that means so much to you. And you've got to find that. And you will only find that by experiencing and going out and doing stuff and spending some time with yourself and staring at the wall and figuring out what am I doing? What path am I going down? Is it a positive path? What have I learned from going down this path? That is how you'll find your meaning. And your meaning will change. There is no constant meaning of life. I'm sure my priorities now will change within this time and next year. So it's just about figuring out what means a lot to you? Should I continue pursuing this path? Or is there going to be some change that I need to adjust to? And it will shape your meaning. So stop trying to search for the meaning of life. It will naturally happen. You will naturally find it and you will reflect and you'll think, okay, yeah, my meaning was that then. But what's my meaning now? Number 17, and you'll like this one, is have fun. Like actually go out, have some fun, enjoy yourself. Yeah. You should be focusing on yourself, you should be improving yourself, you should be growing as a person, you know, finding your meaning, all of this. But have some fun. Do some stupid things. Do some things you look back on and think, oh my god, why did I do that? Because that is life. You're not going to be perfect. Work six days a week and have one day where you just piss about. Do some work if you want, whatever. But don't waste your time sitting around watching Netflix. Go out with your friends, play some sports, go out in the evening, build some experiences. Don't be boring. Have some exciting stories to tell. Go out there, have fun. Number 18, another really important one. I'm, I've probably said that a few times. All of these are important. So you should be hopefully learning from all of these. But number 18, listen more, talk less. When I'm around people that I genuinely think I can learn from, I will be silent. I will talk, I'll come in every now and again, I'll pose some questions and that sort of thing. But most of the time, I will just be listening. Learning is so powerful. This is why you want to surround yourself with intelligent people. People that have had great experiences. If you want to be rich, listen to rich people. If you want to have a great body, listen to people with a great body. Listen to how the people that put their market stalls up at the local fair, they try and sell their products to you. Think about how they come across to you, nice and positive and happy and bright. Note it down your head. Listen to people, you will learn so much from listening. 
And my final lesson. Working hard will only get you so far. You need to be working hard towards the right things. You could be working hard towards unlocking that achievement on Xbox or PS4 or 5. And you get that golden star. You've worked so hard towards it. And you do it. But then you come off your Xbox and you think, right, how has this benefited me at all? Think about what you should be working hard towards. What do you genuinely want to achieve? If you sit down with yourself, no matter who you are, and you think, what do I actually want out of this life? And you get started now and you start working towards the right things, then you will seriously go far. And we will work hard sometimes towards the wrong things and we'll only realise it once we've achieved the wrong things. And you look back and you think, okay, what did I actually achieve? Once you achieve something that really is worth achieving, you look back on that and you think, wow, I've achieved something literally incredible here. So hopefully you've taken some important lessons out of this. This is just what I have learnt over my 19 years and I'm sure there is a lot of life lessons that I haven't talked about here. If you've got to the end of this video, wow, thank you for your time. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment.